Hey guys, this is Phil Evener back with VideoSchoolOnline.com and another lesson in the After Effects course. Last time we were talking about basic mask animations. Today we're going to get a little bit deeper into that topic. I'm going to show you some cool stuff on what you can do with mask animations. So first let's bring in the sidewalk texture or bring in any texture that you want that you find online. I'm going to decrease the size of this like so and then I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create a circle, a perfect circle from the inside. So I'm going to, I'm pressing command and shift to create a perfect circle. Then I'm going to actually do another circle. So I'm going to go from the center again pressing command and shift on my Mac keyboard. On a PC it is control and shift and now I have this inner mask and now for this mask 2 down here I'm going to say subtract so that it leaves this hole in the middle of this mask. So what I want to do is kind of create this circle expanding or yeah this empty circle expanding inside so it looks like an O that's expanding. So first thing first I want to um, make my starting point for my animation. I'm going to select both masks and press MM to bring up my mask properties. For mask 2, the starting, the starting point is going to be really in the middle. So I want to decrease the mask expansion until this is in the middle and the, the solid, it's a solid circle. So something like that is perfect. So I'm going to create a keyframe right there. For this mask 1, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start out at 0 or at where there's no texture at all. So there's nothing on the screen. So something like that. I'm going to go forward. We'll go forward about half a second. I'm going to increase the mask expansion for this first mask. So this goes to about here, where it is, so I'm, I can actually just click type 0 in for 0 pixels so that reaches the mask boundary. And then for this first one, I'm going to um, actually increase to 0 as well. So let's look what this looks like. See what this looks like right there. So that's, we got this mask expanding. Maybe what I want to do is have the circle up here and then the inner mask kind of appears so something like this that's kinda of cool so the circle appears and then with the second mask it kind of makes the circle disappear so maybe I'll have this expand actually further out until there is no sphere left so something like that. So the circle appears and this can be part of another animation. So I'm going to make this second animation a little bit faster so I'm going to move in this keyframe. I'm going to make these two keyframes in the middle easy ease. So I'm going to right click keyframe assistant easy ease. So maybe something like that is cool. I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to select both, press U to bring up the all the keyframes. And on this bottom layer, I'm just going to move it a little bit. So as this first one is disappearing, the second animation is kind of appearing in the middle. I'm going to change the color of this. We'll talk more about effects, but I can do hue up here in the effects bin, hue saturation, drag it onto this layer, and then just rotate the master hue. Let me add this, decrease the saturation, or the master lightness. I guess since this, this is basically a black and white image, we're not going to get to change the hue that much but we can click this colorize button and increase the saturation 
decrease the lightness. So now we have this blue circle appearing. So let's see what this looks like. So that's kind of cool. Let me make it a little bit earlier. You see this a lot in um, in uh, the motion graphics nowadays. It's a cool effect for some kinetic typography or just motion graphics. You know, shapes appearing or disappearing. So that's kind of a cool effect, and that's just I'm showing you how you can edit multiple masks within the same layer. So that's the start of a cool animation. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed these lessons on mask animations. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can contact me through the course page or through videoschoolonline.com. And uh, next, we're going to be getting into some fun topics about 3D in After Effects. So get f look forward to those. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.